be filming a prom makeup tutorial for you, so I'm just going to get straight into it. I'm just priming my face here, and I know the footage is a little bit blurry, but it does get better. Um, I've also lost the footage of my eyebrows because it was blurry, but I've just gone ahead and filled them in. Um, I'm now using the colour Tease from the Naked 2 palette for my crease line. taking this pink shade from MAC and putting it all over uh, my lid. I'm just using the colour suspect on the outer corner of my eye. This is to create the subtle smoky look. the shade black out and work that in my crease so the darkest part will go in my crease and then I'll sort of blend it out into the shade that I just added so this way you still have the pink in your eye and you've got a little bit of smokiness that's not too overpowering Make that crease color again and just blend everything out Now I'm adding this skin illuminator from number 7, you need literally the tiniest amount because otherwise it goes everywhere, it's really really silky and I wear it underneath my foundation when I'm going for a full face look um, just because it really brightens up your face um, but the texture of it is a little bit weird because it's so silky that it kind of just spreads so you have to kind of leave it and let it dry but I've got it underneath my eyes and my forehead, on the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow. So basically everywhere that I'll be highlighting afterwards. And I'm just going to go in with my MAC um, Studio FX foundation in shade NC35. I'm putting on a lot more than I need actually just because um, for a prom look or for something that you want to last well into the night you want quite good coverage. going in with the Real Techniques Beauty Blender just because of the finish that it creates it just makes the skin look flawless taking the lasting perfection um, concealer from collection 2000 and I think this is in the shade 3 which is warm medium I think off the top of my head the writing always comes off um, but I use this to highlight and it gives the most amazing coverage I just absolutely love it um, I'm just going to go ahead and highlight underneath my eyes on the bridge of my nose and a little bit of my forehead there for at least 30 seconds before I start blending um, especially underneath my eyes because that gives the product time to kind of set in so that when I'm blending away I'm not actually moving the product false lashes in a bit and you always have to kind of play around with it once you've had the false lashes on. I'm 
now I'm just going to take a black eye pencil and fill in my waterline. I very rarely do this because I'm conscious of the fact that it makes my eyes look smaller, um, but when you're going for a full face look, I think it's quite important to have bold eyes. So I've got no actual footage to remove the lashes on just because I'm not that great at putting them on right now, so I didn't want to struggle on camera. Um, but the lashes that I am wearing, 120 in Eyelaw. like and now I'm just going and highlighting my eyebrows and the inner corners of my eye. And I'm going to go ahead and contour using the sleep palette. This is a smaller one, I can't remember what the number is, um, but it's in the medium shade so the contour stuff is darker. I've started to contour um, by looking straight at the mirror and doing the lines and then blending them in because then the line actually goes higher up and as opposed to just going diagonal um, and it just makes the face look more structured, I think. I'm just going to take um, the powder down, my, down to the side. Uh, I can't speak today. I'm just going to take the powder down the sides of my nose um, and at the top of my forehead and underneath my jawline just to add colour all over my face um, and then I'll just blend everything in. I'm going to take um, this pink blush by MAC which I dropped and broke. Um, and a stippling brush and I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples of my cheeks and then kind of move it back so it blends in with the contour. Now I'm taking the highlighter from the same sleek um, highlighting and contouring set and I'm just going to highlight um, the top of my cheekbones. I am doing quite a strong highlight. Um, I will blend it out a little bit, um, but I think for special events you want a stronger highlight. And then my card was full, so I went ahead and changed my scarf and into my dress. Now I'm just filling my lips in with this lip pencil from Essence. Um, it's a light pink. Um, and then I'm going to put this pink lipstick from New Look on top. Um, I, it's it's quite a nice colour but actually when I wore it I realised that it was too light so I went ahead and added some red lip gloss from L'Oreal um, just to, to try and match my lip colour more to my dress. So there will be full details of the dress on my blog and I'll leave the link for that in the description box below. And if you guys have got any questions make sure you leave them down below. Um, remember to like, share and subscribe and if you've got any ideas leave them down below and I'll see you all soon inshallah. Bye!